Welcome guys, now we will start our new topic which is 132k with JIS. So we will be, uh, uh, I will be explaining to you more 132k with JIS with detailed parts of the JIS like CT, VT, uh, circuit breaker, surge arrestor, cable compartment, isolator or switch. This is basically JIS stands for uh, gas insulated station and uh, the most uh, it can be at 132 kV level, 220 kV levels, 500 kV levels. Uh, the GIS are available. Now we'll move to the next slide. Okay, now I have shown you a typical GIS cutout, uh, which is LK04. Um, how the GIS is built? For example, number one is bus bar. This is basically the bus bar. Uh, of uh, with disconnected and R switch. This is uh, this portion is with the bus bar and disconnected R switch. Number two is a circuit breaker. This is basically two is a circuit breaker, and here in this one you can find the interrupter. Uh, number three is a current transformer. So this is CT, and which is connected in series. Number four is a voltage transformer. So this shape. This is basically a voltage transformer. Uh, number five is feeder disconnected and R switch. This is a feeder disconnected and R switch mechanism. Uh, make proof earthing switch. Number six. This is the make proof earthing switch, which is also called as high speed R switch. Cable and unit seven. This is a cable and unit, which is called also called as cable ceiling and local control cabinet is number eight so all the control is shown uh, is is available here opening closing interlocks alarms indication is coming here okay this is the uh, small cutout of the breaker here you can see various parts So one is interrupting unit. So where is number one? Let's see. This is number one. This is basically is the interrupting unit. Number two is current transformer. Number two is this is the CT. You can see now. Number three is barrier insulator. Where is number three? This is the barrier insulator. What is the purpose of this barrier insulator? It is uh, stopping the uh, SF6. It is making one compartment. So there are three barrier insulators which, which are not allowing SF6 to cross from the breaker compartment to the ne uh, next compartment. So you can say permeable or permissible. So these are the function of barrier insulators. Then number four is operating mechanism, which is here. One box is installed on the top, or it can be on side of circuit breaker, which is operating the circuit breaker. Okay, so here it is shown a self blast principle. A is a breaker closed. B is interruption of operating current. C is interruption of short circuit current. So it means the breaker can be operated on load it can break the load current as well as it can break the short circuit current but the isolator is an offload device that can only be operated uh, at no load so if, if someone is trying to open there first of all there are interlocks it will not operate with breaker close but if if some interlock is fail so if somebody open the isolator on load while the breaker is also closed so huge spark will happen because isolator don't cannot op be operated on load it cannot quench the current so this is the example of breaker then we will see ct and vts so this is the voltage transformer further it is explained in detail one is primary sided winding you can see number one this is primary sided windings number two secondary sided windings with cores 
this is secondary winding this is primary winding number three is a terminal block all the secondary windings are further con connected to the CT uh, CVT terminal blocks then four is buried insulator you can see this is insulator installed here so this is VT has its own gas compartment then you have support insulator then you have multiple bushing disc here we have shown a current transformer you can see is easily here this is the winding this is the terminal block these are the barrier insulators this CT has also its own compartment so this is example of CT and VT so you can see the two which is the secondary winding primary winding is a single turn which is a conductor going through this so this is the example of CT here we have shown a VT actual VT which is installed in the GIS this is the terminal block you can see and this is basically the there is a uh, isolator in the VT which is called as isolating link so you cannot also operate this isolator while the uh, uh, while the bus is energized so there are two options one is uh, electrical operated uh, uh, isolator uh, isolating link for the VT one is manual so this is here it is shown manual so at the present you can see it is in on position you can see it is in on position this is off position if you move this lever then it will slowly operate and it will change its position you can see the name plate here also for the VT ok this is the uh, little introduction of VT we will move to the next topic uh, surge arrestor